Well, so again, NVIDIA driver has been crushing my Premiere Pro. Uh, so I had uh, 4, 4, 2, 19. Uh, it started crashing. I was I reinstalled uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, uh, cleaned the cache, didn't work. I rolled back to this one, uh, 4, 4, 1, 6, 6. These are both studio drivers. It solved the problem. And uh, then everything was working fine. And then again, I got tempted and I thought, okay, uh, I installed the driver again and again after a while. So for a while it was working fine, Premiere Pro and uh, After Effects. Um, and then it, the, Premiere Pro started crashing. By the way, the first time the After Effects was crashing as well. Uh, this time, I don't know, I didn't check. So I had this very simple sequence. Actually, this is just a, a, a thumbnail for my video. So not much happening. And upon starting this project, it would crash. I would then load previous versions of this project that did work and they still would crash. So it's very random. And obviously I did clean cache, which I recommend that you do as well. Uh, just to remind you, you can find where your cache is. Let me see, where is that media cache? Uh, so you can uh, move it to a different drive. I have it in this location, but obviously you might have it in a different location. So just delete this or go to that folder and directly delete all the files for the project or even all the files that often helps with lots of issues with Premiere Pro. But if everything fails, then I recommend where is that uh, roll back the driver. I always have a spare driver. Where is it? Uh, not always, but I usually keep some uh, previous NVIDIA drivers just in case to roll all back and uh, just quickly so you download it from Nvidia's website and you run it or just uh, unpack it and click setup run and ins install the older driver so hopefully that will solve your issues uh, so remember roll back the driver before you do anything else uh, or actually no first step I would say uh, clean the cache however well, that depends. Sometimes you might want to, to keep the cache. So just uh, another option you could do actually, so which I did as well, is instead of uh, cleaning the cache, uh, what I do, I go to my cache folder, so Adobe Cache. And what I do, I just I can either rename the whole folder uh, or within the folder, I go to the folder that I think causes issues, maybe for example, CC libraries download and I re rename this. What that gives me that if I start the project again, uh, I can then resync it with another folder. Yes, I will get a message. I'll start a, a project and I will say it will say file missing. So I can then point it to a new uh, location. So let's say if I start the older one, uh, it will say uh, files are offline. Will it or will it not? Oh no, now it's actually, oh, somehow, wait a minute, it's not this project. Um, where is it? It's this one, but it doesn't say now. Oh, funnily enough, now it knows where to find it. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So uh, that's what you could do. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and <laughs> take care.